Hello everyone. Manchester United need a top defensive midfielder to replace Casemiro, and once again, the name of Manuel Ugarte is in the focus. Last year, the Red Devils moved in with an offer to sign the Uruguayan international from Sporting CP, but he eventually ended up joining Paris Saint-Germain. Now, according to L'Equipe, Man United have submitted an undisclosed offer to finally land Ugarte this summer. However, the French champions have opted to turn the bid down as they consider the amount tabled insufficient. As per The Telegraph, PSG paid more than 50 millions of pounds to sign the South American playbreaker from the Lions last summer and want to recoup the fee from his sale. The British media outlet have mentioned that Man United want Ugarte to replace veteran Brazilian Casemiro at Old Trafford. At the moment, the 100,000 of pounds a week is taking part in the Copa America and featured for full 90 minutes in the opening group game against Panama. Uruguay won the contest 3-1. For PSG, Ugarte regularly started in the first half of the campaign, but in the second half, he was in and out of the 11. He made five starts in the group stages of the UEFA Champions League. However, in the knockout stages, he started none and featured for just 23 minutes in total. In your view, is Ugarte good enough to replace Casemiro at Man United? So, tell us in comments section below how you understand. In other news, the race hits up, Inter Milan are interested in signing Manchester United target Morten Yulman from Sporting Lisbon. The Red Devils are keen to bolster their midfield options for the coming season, with Adrian Rabiot and Manuel Ugarte being two of the most recent names linked to the club. There were rumors earlier in the summer that the club was interested in Dane Hulmond, but that they would not pay the release clause of 80 millions of euros that Sporting were demanding despite the player's interest in playing in the Premier League in the future. Nonetheless, reports from Portuguese paper Correio de Manja are a little more hopeful for United or any club chasing the player currently on international duty at Euro 2024. It is stated that Inter Milan have entered the race for midfielder Hulmand and even believe they can sign the Dane at a bargain price, that is, below the release clause of 80 million euros. The Nerazzurri intensified their observations of Hulmand during Euro 2024 and are impressed. They like the evolution shown by the player who transferred from Lecce to the Alvalade at the beginning of last season. The drive, determination, and the goal he scored against England whetted the Italian's appetite even more. They are not willing to pay the 80 million euro release clause, but they accept paying half and are open to loaning players. Hulmand has a contract until 2028 and a massive release clause should Sporting truly not want to lose the midfielder. In spite of this, if Inter do make any progress on a deal below the release clause valuation, United and a clutch of top teams across the continent will surely be watching with much interest, ready to strike. If the Portuguese side are in fact open to something like a 40 millions of euros fee plus player exchanges, the price would be much more affordable for Eric Ten Hag's side. What's more, United have players such Christian Eriksen, Aaron Wan-Bissaka, and Victor Lindelof that they would surely be happy to include in any swap deal should the players involved give the green light and Sporting could provide an ideal venue for loaning breakthrough academy stars. Yulmund has been described as a defensively intelligent midfielder who reads the game to a high level. He has great anticipation which allows him to read the opposition's next attacking moves and he is capable of playing the defensive midfielder role to perfection. Therefore, the 25-year-old would seem the perfect replacement for Casemiro, and his desire to play in England would only work in the Red Devils' favor should they receive any encouragement from Sporting that their stance is softening. On the other side, Manchester United have rejected a transfer offer for Mason Greenwood. Greenwood has been the subject of interest from a number of clubs, including Lazio, despite all the controversy. According to transfer insider Gianluca Di Marzio, the Serie A giants have offered United a package worth 20 millions of pounds. The deal also includes a 50% sell-on clause for the forward. However, the Red Devils have rejected the Italian's offer. On the other side, two Manchester United outcasts are being lined up by Everton, with the Red Devils still looking to sign Jared Branthwaite. United had a 35 millions of pounds offer rejected by the Toffees for Branthwaite earlier this month, 
and the Goodison Park side are holding firm with their 70 millions of pounds valuation. Now TalkSport have informed readers to keep an eye out for some potential transfer deals going in the opposite direction. The same source claims the Merseysiders may potentially be making moves for a couple of United men. The report adds that Everton are one of a number of clubs interested in Aaron Juan Bissaka, while manager Sean Dyche is a fan of centre-back Victor Lindelof. Meanwhile, Manchester United are set join the transfer race to sign Everton star Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Bologna star Joshua Xerxes appears to be United's top choice, and the club have begun talks with him. Reports suggest the Red Devils are willing to activate the striker's 34 millions release clause. Should a move for the Netherlands international not materialize, Calvert-Lewin is seen as an alternative by the Manchester Giants. The Toffees are looking to sell the 27-year-old to help balance the books ahead of the coming season. According to the Eye, United are ready to battle Newcastle and AC Milan for his signature. The Magpies are in talks over a deal, but have been put off by the Merseysiders' 40 millions of pounds valuation, with Sky Sports reporting the transfer is currently off. Elsewhere, Manchester United want to sign Roma star Paolo Dybala after a special request from Eric Ten Hag. The Giallorossi are yet to offer Dybala a new contract with his cut price 10 millions of pounds release clause coming into effect come July. The 30-year-old's deal is set to run out in 2025, with an option for a one-year extension. The Argentina International is among Ten Hag's top transfer targets, and Old Trafford Chiefs see the 10 millions of pounds buyout clause as a huge bargain, according to Italian media reports. Dybala, though, earns around 114,000 of pounds per week, according to Il Messaggero. In other news, Manchester United have had an offer rejected by Paris Saint-Germain for Manuel Ugarte. Ugarte is one of the midfielders on United's radar, and L'Equipe claim they have seen a bid turned down. It is believed that PSG do not want to sell the 23-year-old, after also recently turning down interest from Juventus. The Parisians will not consider offers less than the 50 million they paid for the Uruguay International. And a move at this time could be complex, as the player is currently away for Copa America. On the other side, Manchester United will reportedly consider an approach for Bayern Munich defender Matthijs de Ligt should their pursuit of Jared Branthwaite fall through. The Red Devils tabled an offer worth in the region of 45 millions of pounds for the English defender, but this was promptly rejected by Everton. The Merseyside club are believed to be holding out for a fee around 75 millions of pounds for Branthwaite, citing previous deals for Harry Maguire, Wesley Fofana, and Josco Gvardiol in recent years as the benchmark for their valuation. United have no intention of meeting this demand, however. Ineos, who gained full control over the sporting operation of United earlier this year, had designated Branthwaite as a key target for the first stage of their revolution at Old Trafford. But the club's new rulers had been hoping to leverage Everton's precarious financial position to drive down the price for the 21-year-old. Having made it clear, United would not spend that amount on a single player this summer. As such, negotiations appear to be at a standstill, with neither side willing to progress further until a concession is made by the other. This deadlock has been further exacerbated by potential deals for Dominic Calvert-Lewin to Newcastle and Lewis Dobbin to Aston Villa, both academy graduates whose sales would constitute pure profit for the Toffees. If these deals are complete, it would drastically reduce the pressure on Everton to sell Branthwaite. This means United are realistically going to have look elsewhere to strengthen their defensive unit with a former pupil of Eric Ten Hag emerging as the real alternative to Branthwaite. Nick Semeraro, an Italian journalist, reveals De Ligt has firmly emerged as the backup option should a move for Branthwaite falter and exploratory contacts have been made with Bayern Munich in the last few hours. He tweeted that, Math Jess De Ligt is the real alternative to Branthwaite for Man UFC. Exploratory contacts in the last few hours. Bavarians ask for 42 millions of pounds. The Dutch footballer can leave Bayern and Ten Hag knows him well from his Ajax days. Semeraro further reveals a price tag of 42 millions of pounds has been set by Bayern executives for their centre-back, 
de Ligt is well known by Ten Hag, with the pair having combined brilliantly during their shared time in Amsterdam, during one of Ajax's most successful periods in the modern era. The Dutch defender is also the ideal complement to Lisandro Martinez, another former Ajax pupil, given his physical and aerial strength, as well as his preference to play on the right side of defense. While de Ligt's wage demands are likely to be higher than Branthwaite's, the fact his club's asking price is over 30 millions of pounds cheaper demonstrates why United may be tempted to abandon a pursuit of the young Englishman in favor of the more experienced Dutchman. On the other side, Stuttgart star Serho Guirassi has decided to leave the Bundesliga outfit. According to transfer insider Florian Plettenberg, Guirassi has informed the German club of his intention to depart this summer. Manchester United have previously been linked with the striker. However, United would now face competition from Borussia Dortmund, AC Milan, and Arsenal.